and gents, and here we go. We have another part of my really crazy uh, bench power supply. So two channels, lots of power, uh, lots of functionality, uh, digital screens and all of that. If you hadn't checked uh, the older videos, uh, they will be in cards for you to click on during the length of the video. So let me just show you what we have accomplished uh, so far. So we have a full metal uh, case. Okay, if you hadn't had a chance to see uh, the process of this metal case. Oh, I'm sorry for that sound. Uh, you can always check my other videos uh, where I have updates of how I built this thing. But it looks pretty good. So this is the front uh, panel, okay, uh, obviously uh, it's not complete, <laughs> there's no holes for any of the banana plugs yet, but here they are, there's no holes for the switches and the fuses, but here they are, there's no holes for the pots, but there they are again, and there are the power circuitry that uh, we will be putting in like mains fuse, uh, two neon lights, one for off, one for on uh, indication and then we have our mains uh, power switch here. These vents are just for the air uh, circulation. Uh, I figured out, you know, I don't want this thing to be loud. So having a freaking fan blowing like a rocket uh, is pretty much the worst thing you can do to a power supply, especially when it's meant for, you know, lab use, uh, like I am filming uh, videos. So it doesn't quite make sense for me to make a rocket uh, like that. Uh, but if you're after, you know, um, high power outputs, Obviously, you need a good air circulation. Uh, it will have a fan inside blowing on the boost converters. But uh, what I figured out is I will just uh, have a, uh, a circuit inside, like a LM317, controlling the two fans to make sure you know they don't go uh, bananas in terms of sound. And uh, you know I, I want to keep this. Uh, pretty quiet uh, because it's meant for a lab use and uh, you know I will be filming during uh, when I use it so I had the power supply and uh, I, before I burned it I used to use it in my videos to power my projects and you could hear it in camera it's pretty annoying so yeah so th this is what we have so far uh, the next step would be to, you know, I, I can't really start working on the front panel uh, yet uh, because I have to mount uh, the two ATX power supplies. And, oh my god, I'm sorry. I have to mount two ATX power supplies inside. So what I will do is I will mount them here. And once I'm done, I will come back with another uh, update in this video. And uh, you guys will check out what I have done. But for now, this is what I have. Uh, the top cover is removable uh, with six hex M3 screws. Uh, the front cover... Uh, it's planned for it to be removable. Uh, the holes are threaded, but uh, you know, I don't want it to fall off uh, because the metal is very thin. So if I'm gonna keep taking it on and off, uh, it it will eventually wear out. So what I figured out is I will have screws as a temporary uh, fix here, and uh, you know. Oh, <laughs> and uh, uh, once I finish the front uh, panel and uh, I can see that, you know, it's good to go pretty much, I will rivet it. I, put, I would put the rivets inside on the panel, I mean, and uh, it, it will be 
stationary you won't be able to take it off obviously you can take off the rivets but you know you wouldn't be able to take off the panel really easily and that the top would be accessible um i don't really need it to be accessible but if i want to check something or whatever i will i will have that access uh, to the top so that's all right so that is the first look at the case uh, so far uh yeah i will mount the atx power supplies inside and i will be back uh but yeah that's all i have for now whoa 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 what is going on i'm back so it had been i don't know maybe an hour uh later and uh i did some things and it's pretty much what i had told you so we are trying to figure out how to mount the power supplies and all of that and it looks pretty promising right now so i have two metal power supplies inside of this case and uh, no one is touching the ground and two power supplies are completely isolated from each other how did i accomplish that well you gotta work smart not hard all you gotta do is uh, break off uh, the pins for the ground on your uh, power connector and uh, there you go you got yourself isolated power supplies from the main ground is this dangerous yes this is actually dangerous uh, do not try attempting you know anything like this because it's just stupid so don't actually uh, try doing anything like that by yourself. But if that's what you want to do, that's what you got to do to get them isolated. Then I have an acrylics sheet on the bottom uh, so it doesn't uh, touch the metal. And I have two, four rubber stoppers, uh, as you can see uh glued to the power supplies so it's on top of each other and uh, completely isolated these cables drive me nuts i'm gonna cut them if they don't stop stop okay there we go so it fits inside real nice uh, nothing is touching anywhere we still have a lot of space on the front for our uh, circuitry so I am amazed of how much space I have and that is actually plenty enough for my purposes I'm glad I changed my mind to this design right here uh, two power supplies horizontal on top of each other that's pretty much as space efficient as I can get this thing to be and we have a lot of space for, uh, you know, our boost converters and stuff on the back of uh, the front panel. So that is plenty enough of room. And I even have uh, some space on the side for all those nasty cables I don't need. So we can hide them there. Really cool. Uh, turned out really good. Uh, you know, it, it, it's going to be a heavy one. Uh, I'm actually afraid it might be as heavy as uh, the the other uh, power supply I made not the one ago. Uh, the one that has a welding transformer inside. That one is like heavy. But this one is a switch mode. And uh, you know usually when you think about switch mode uh, power supplies they should be lighter. Well this one is more complicated and you know we have a lot of things that add weight lots of metal on here so it's adding unnecessary weight to the system but overall it should be a solid build uh there are a couple of things here and there like making sure that uh, you know the the power supply doesn't wobble we have to attach it to the bottom somehow without actually uh connecting it to a metal with a screw so it has to be all isolated from uh, the case but uh, yeah i mean so far so good 
I'm just going to tuck in all of these cables inside and uh, turn it around. By the way, I have some feet uh, on the bottom of it, so like it's the one you would use for a chair. Just go to the dollar store, buy it. Uh, doesn't hurt your pocket in any way, and it's sliding nicely. So as you can see. Uh, we're slowly getting to the point where we can actually start wiring uh, the front panel and uh, I think I have to stop the video here and uh, I will continue working on it. Another update will come in a day or two. So eventually what I will do is I will uh, mount uh, the power supplies, uh, perhaps maybe even uh, make uh, a back plate for it of course has to be plastic we can't be touching uh, these two metals together because the power supplies will have a potential difference on the casing if we hook it up in uh, series so that's something to look for that is the reason why I have the grounds chopped because when we connect it in series you're you're you are essentially uh, shorting uh, positive let's say 12 volts to a negative because they are already connected you can't connect positive and negative of both the uh, power supplies together so uh, we chopped uh, the grounds and now we should be good to go and we have to keep doing that we have to keep isolating uh, the power supplies from the ground or like a common point uh, so yeah th that is that essentially uh, the plan as I said Put a back plate uh, mount this so it doesn't wibble wobble. Uh, we do want to have an ability to take it out, obviously. Uh, so we have to look forward into that to you know make it smart. Um, yeah, the the top cover not gonna touch it at all. We have good airflow uh, already, and uh, these fans on the power supplies they will actually suck the air out, so they will suck. In the front right there so it will suck there and then on the bottom there is another vent the air will come here and uh, you know go through the power supply into the fan and out of the power supply so that is good I was worrying that uh, I might have uh, a trouble of uh, you know air circulation inside but it seems to be all right it's more than all right it's almost perfect and uh, so I don't need another fan for exhaust and uh, all I have to do is just you know finish up start working on the front panel and mount some fans on those boost converters and uh, you know we should be good to go so guys, that's about it for this video. You all know what to do. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you hadn't subscribed already. And yeah, you're going to see some of my other videos on your screen. I really hope you click on some of them and you'll make me the happiest person ever. And uh, yeah, as always, see you in the next video.